Black history stories you didn't learn in school. In 1829, poor black people and poor Irish immigrants were moving to Cincinnati, Ohio, at a high rate. They were competing for jobs and housing. The Irish decided to terrorize black people to force them to leave town. The violence led to a 50% decrease in the black population. After the attacks, some whites were disgusted at how black people were treated. They started to support the abolishment of slavery and the elimination of laws that restricted black people's freedom. In 1835, James Burney, former slaveholder and ex-mayor of Huntsville, Alabama, moved to Ohio. On January 1, 1836, he started The Philanthropist, an anti-slavery newspaper. The publication was initially printed in New Richmond, Ohio, but in April 1836, it relocated to Cincinnati. By this time, white people were starting to complain about having to compete for jobs with black people, just like they did in 1829. They were also fed up with the anti-slavery talk. On April 11th, large groups, led chiefly by Irish immigrants, attacked black businesses and homes, and attacked black people and the white people who supported them. Eventually, the governor intervened and got the rioters under control. Several people died, but no one knows how many. On July 5th, a race riot started just because black people showed up for an Independence Day celebration. This was something that black people had done for years without issue. But this time, Bernie was at the event. His presence led white people to see this as an anti-slavery demonstration, even though it wasn't. On July 12th, 40 white guys broke into Bernie's building and destroyed his printing press. Issues of his publication were distributed in Kentucky and other southern states. People in Cincinnati thought its anti-slavery rhetoric would hurt business with Kentucky slaveholders, so they wanted to put him out of business. Bernie wasn't deterred. Within a few days, he had a new printing press. On July 23rd, Mayor Samuel Davis called a meeting and announced he planned to shut down all anti-slavery publications. With the mayor's support, a mob, including men from Kentucky, returned to Bernie's office on July 30th and destroyed his new printing press. The group then marched to a black neighborhood known as The Swamp, where they burned down homes and attacked black people. It took days for the mayor to get things under control. When it was all said and done, numerous people died, but no arrests were made. 